Um, so we did traditional chip work in the gold work daisy video um, number three and now I'm going to show you a variation of that and we're going to do loop chips in the centre of my flower here. So this is what we're going to use. This is bright check pearl. This is a large version of what we used previously and instead of cutting it into small squares as we did for the chips I'm going to cut long lengths. So I'll just show you how to do that here. I've got um, a different pair of scissors for cutting this metal. It is quite sharp, it will blunt them so keep um, a separate pair just for doing this. And I'm going to make them, it's about probably just over a centimetre long and I've cut one to length and you want to really have them all the same length if you can, as close as you can. That one's a tiny bit long, I'll just cut a bit off that. Replace the next one next to that one. I've got this on my velvet board here so they don't all roll off. Scissors underneath it will sit on the pile so they won't roll off a sharp snip. And cut yourself a few there. I've done a couple of colours here. I've got some copper and I've got some gold as well. So once you've cut a few pieces you can start your thread off and I'm using a double thread this time. Two threads. I'm going to go through the gold so it will um, be a bit stronger to have two. Then I'm just going to run it through my beeswax. So just hold it on the wax. Pull it through once. Tie a knot in the end. Right, so I'm going to fill in the whole of this area. So I'll just put my knot out to the side on the top. Two stitches to start as we have done previously. anywhere in that centre shape. I'm actually going to start in the middle and work out towards the edge. So just come straight up in the middle and I'm going to put the copper colour in the middle and the gold around the edge. So you just need to thread one onto the needle, slide it all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to hold that out of the way and take the needle back down close to where I came out, but not exactly in the same point. Just guide that thread down slowly and that makes a loop. So we're going to do a few of those together in the centre, I'm not worrying about lining them up where I place them exactly, just bunch them together. So pick another one up on the needle slide it to the bottom and then back down close to where you came out. Guide that thread down that goes into a loop and then I shall come to the side just trying to group them in the middle there onto the needle easier to pick it up and slide it on so you can see what I'm doing. Down to the bottom, you can see how gentle I'm being with this, this is very fragile coil of metal here so just nice and gently guide that down just till it twists into a loop like so. And I think that's enough for the middle, I'm going to put a gold one in now, coming up carefully, thread on a gold one, down to the bottom, into the fabric close by. Just be careful your thread doesn't get caught on those other loops that we've already put down. Bends over into a loop and just fill in the whole shape in the same way, try and keep them close together. If you find that your 
metal just catches on the thread, just wax it again, just to make it smooth. Just going to fill in that whole shape now in the same way. Okay, so as I get near to the edge, it gets a little harder to pack them in. So I'm just pulling that one out of the way and I'm going to put one in underneath there. So slide it to the bottom. Just guide where that goes down. Happy with that. In over here, just gently hold one out of the way if you need to get underneath. Just caught slightly on the thread there. The thread is beginning to wear a bit because it's getting shorter. So I think what I'll do is just put this last one in here, then I'll actually start a new thread off. Just to finish those last few. So just up in one of the spaces, small stitch, another small stitch next to it. Just be careful where you bring your needle up here so that you don't put it through some of the gold or already there. Back up to the top snip that thread off close by and start a new thread. Don't forget double thread to go through so I've just cut that a little bit longer, fold it in half, once through the beeswax is fine, not in the end. I'll start it off where I started the previous one, so I've got the two knots close by. Just start again with two small knots. And then you can carry on as before, so got a nice new thread to work with now. really want to make sure that I fill in those spaces so you can't see this fabric underneath. So don't be afraid to squash them in. And a couple more around the back. I'm getting to near where my starting knots are now so I'm just going to cut those off out the way. And see where I'm working. And I think two more. Just happened to have two left. That was uh, well worked out. And then one more around the back here. Perfect. There we go. Just give it a quick check all the way around. If you need to get any more in, I don't think I can get any more in there. I think that's enough. So I'll just finish my thread now. Um, now it looks like there isn't anywhere to finish it but if you just do it carefully I'll finish it over here so hopefully you can see. I'm just holding that chip out of the way and just very carefully coming up between it to do those 
two finishing stitches. If you're not confident enough to do that, you can just turn your frame over and weave it through a few stitches on the back. But so you can see, I do it on the top. There's my two stitches. Back to the top. And very carefully so you don't cut any of your work pull that up and snip that thread off and there's finished loop chips okay so one more thing to do to finish this piece and that's the sequins and the spangles around the edge of the petals which we'll do next time